everybody can make very simple changes in their everyday life that has a huge knock-on effect if we all do it together. So reusable bottles, reusable coffee cups, we're talking a bag for life rather than a plastic bag, no straws in your drink, and that's just changing behaviours. For me, well, I spent most of my time, believe it or not, in the Southern Ocean, but I absolutely love it down there. It's scary and hostile and extreme, but it's also some of the best sailing you can do. I probably never go to sea without lip salve. Got to have kissable lips when you get in. <laughs> um, it takes a little bit of time because you're fueled with a bit of adrenaline and there's lots that's happened and you want to tell people all about it. And it takes a little bit of time to decompress. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, you do that big hype and you have a drink and you have something to eat, but actually the shower process is quite therapeutic because suddenly you're showering and you're having that, you know, flowing warm water that you haven't had for ages and towels and moisturizer, all the things that you miss. And then um, I think just to have a change of scene where you've been on the water all the time, although I love that environment to go for a walk, I'm a real creature of habit with um, my routine of eating and racing. So my pre-departure whenever I go offshore is a pizza. I always have a pizza as my departure meal. And I think I've managed to get quite a few other offshore sailors along the same lines as that. We often text each other on something like the Volvo Ocean Race saying, oh, I'm having my pizza, how's yours? Uh, but then when you come back, it's um, what you haven't had. So you often crave fresh be it salads or you know the crunch or the juice of fresh fruit and stuff. The sacrifice you make offshore sailing is a long time away from friends and family um, and, and home. You know, I did some renovations on my home and then disappeared for a year. So it's little things that you miss. You miss birthdays, weddings, christenings. And so the important thing for me when I'm back is to make sure that I reconnect with those people. So friends and family are really important and I try and spend as much of my time as I can being sociable and seeing the people and having people around for dinner. And so I get to live in my house, but I also get to share um, that time with people that are important to me. So it's that balance, but um, I like, a, like nice hospitality and spending time with good people. think about all the time I've spent in the world's oceans I've seen a lot of changes over that period of time and that many laps around the world I've seen the horrible reality of the pollution in the oceans as well and to be the skipper now of turn the tide on plastic and have that clear message that I'm now taking around the world just to make people aware that there is an issue and we can actually all do something about it so this team is not about just delivering on the water in performance but it's also about delivering ashore and making sure that message comes home and we change the way people behave and conduct themselves and hopefully address the pollution and the plastic in our world's oceans. Sadly, the ocean is full of plastic. We've all been amazed by just the amount of plastic, polystyrene we've seen in the ocean. And also the most remote uh, southern ocean. We can see plastic around, so it's quite sad. There's something really unique with the Volvo Ocean Race. We travel to 12 host cities as we go around the world and together with the microplastic science project that we're carrying. So this is our microplastic analyzers. It's a series of filters that are, as the water goes through it, um, it traps any microplastics. As well as part of the sustainability campaign. We're getting raw data for the first time. We found here some microplastics particles already. And this data just can't be ignored now. The Volvo Ocean the Volvo Race. Ocean the Race. Volvo Ocean Race. The Volvo Ocean Race. One of the biggest events in yachting, the Volvo Ocean Race, is coming to town. The power of the Volvo Ocean Race is that we've been holding ocean summits in a number of the stopovers. And these have invited key influencers, decision makers, actively seeking change. 
to come together to discuss the issue of ocean health. The good things we've seen come out of it are things like Alicante and Auckland signed into the UN Clean Seas Pledge, Cape Town, the VNA waterfront there, refusing straws alongside plastic bags as well. And even now in Brazil, we had them join the party as well. So we really are having an impact. Turn the tide on plastic. Turn the tide on plastic. Turn the tide on plastic. And trying to raise awareness of the damage done to our oceans. To add Sky Ocean Rescue, um, partner with us for this campaign around the world has been really, really fruitful for us. We're trying to amplify a message on a global scale and with Sky Ocean Rescue's reach that they get, we really have got that message out there for people to re-evaluate their relationship and attitude towards single-use plastics.